Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,293. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1,291 to 1,293 and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're still trying to score Myers-Briggs assessments or tests. Now, in Excel Magic Trick 1291 and 1292, we saw two methods. In this video, 1293, we want to see a single cell method for scoring the Myers-Briggs test. Now, the idea is we have 32 questions, and each question gets either A or B. We first, for each one of these answers, have to look it up in this table. So for 1A, I would need to get the N and bring it back here. For 2A, I would need to get an I and return it to this cell. Then I'd have to use count ifs to count how many of each letter there were. Now in this video, I do not want the extra column we had to build last time. So I did VLOOKUP. I joined, and notice I'm joining a cell to another cell. And then I look that up within this whole table, Control-Shift-Down-Arrow, F4, comma, and 2, because I want to retrieve the item from the second column. It's sorted, so I simply close parentheses, Control-Enter, and double-click and send it down. That's the column I don't want. However, looking at this helper column will help us design a single cell formula. Now notice. If I put this in edit mode, enter, F2, enter, F2, enter, F2, every time it's as if I have an entire column of question numbers and answers that I would like to look up over here. So in essence, I want this entire helper column in this cell. Now, normally what we do is we notice that the part that's going to be an array operation, meaning instead of a single value and lookup value, I want to put the whole two columns and have the lookup formula look all of them up simultaneously and spit out all these answers. So normally what we do is we just come over and we use the same function. And right here we just say, hey, I'm going to take this whole column, Control-Shift-Down, F4, and I'm going to join it to this whole other column, Control-Shift-Down, F4. The problem is, is if I try to go ahead with this formula, that function argument lookup value will never do an array operation like this. Now, knowing which function arguments can do array operations and not do array operations is difficult. There's no Microsoft book that they put out. However, I did write a book called Control-Shift-Enter Mastering Excel Array Formulas, which lists, in essence, the rules for array formulas, the different ways you can create array formulas, and things like function arguments. Hey, luckily, we can simply come here and remove the V, because the lookup function, lookup value argument, can handle array operations. What it means is that lookup can look up every single one of those joined items and simultaneously return all of the letters, which is exactly what we want. The one caveat for lookup, of course, is the first column has to be sorted because lookup can only do approximate match, which is how we have this set up. All right, ready? Look up all of those, comma, and I'm using the array. Control, Shift, Down, Arrow, F4. Now, all it will do is it will look up all those answers in there. And when I close parentheses and hit the F9 key, I have simulated in a single cell that entire helper column. Control Z. Now what do I need to do? I need to put that inside of count ifs because that's the array that I want to look through. I could see I have uh, one equal sign too many, comma, and I want to tell count ifs to look that through that whole array and count all the e's. Well, guess what? We run into yet another problem. If we try to enter this, we get the same terrible error which doesn't say anything. But Guess what? We're back to which function arguments in Excel can handle array formulas and which ones can't. Well, this is another one that can't do it. So no problem. I'm going to highlight this and delete it. And now I'm simply going to say, hey, that whole array, are any of you equal to this letter right here? Let's just see what this evaluates to. If I hit F9, well, that's working. I have true 
true. So I have a bunch of trues there. There's at least three, right? And I need to count how many trues. Well, we can't put it in count if, so we're going to use the sum product formula. Now, sum product array one argument can handle array operations. Now, all I need to do is count trues. And so first, I need to convert the trues and falses to ones and zeros, because sum product cannot understand trues and falses. The way I'm going to do it is with a double negative, and then open parentheses around the array operation with an equal sign, which gives us the trues and falses. That'll inside give us the trues and falses, and double negative will convert it to ones and zeros. If I were to highlight this argument right here and hit F9, boom. That's how we're going to count how many E's there are in that whole helper column. Control Z, close parentheses, Control Enter, and copy it over. Now if I come over here, Control Shift Down Arrow Delete, and look at that last cell, boom. That's how we can score Myers-Briggs assessment or test given a column of question and answers and a proper lookup table. All right, we'll see you next video.